Hello everyone, welcome to some awesome Eclipse graphics loop from their 10 year anniversary. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that they released, new stuff, a remake of stuff, a lot of new workshop wonders came in stock, and a lot of awesome freebies. Uh, if you want to check out my Eclipse graphic videos, you can click right up here or links will be down below for those. Let's get right into it because there is a good amount of stuff. You can see it does come in the big box. Just dump it all out and voila! So luckily for me, they came to Brickworld, which is just, just this past weekend, and um, since they hand-delivered my package, I got another <laughs> delivery, or drive-by delivery. So I think I've showed the red version off in the past. Let's focus on it. There we go. So this one is uh, another drive-by delivery, and it's in uh, purple. And these pieces do can separate, so I'm going to for sure add this to my brick badge. But awesome. I have two out of the many variants they have in these colors. Uh, let's do the freebie stuff, I guess, first. So I'm going to slide most of this out of the way. We do get some stickers, uh, some freebie brick badges, some other stuff. Everything's just going to kind of sit here while I go through it. So, 10 year anniversary sticker. Nice little shiny 10 in 10 years right there. Love me my stickers. We got Clippy celebrating the anniversary. This would be a good face. Make this a face, Victor. Um, we got this one, which is a uh, special brick that they did. It's an engraved brick. It's black, and then it's chrome in the engraved, so 10 years. And you can see it is indented. And same as this side, you got Clippy. Again, it is indented. You can see a little bit. In person, you can tell easily, but you can see how it has those indents. So another little uh, badge to add. Put it on here. Um, of course, some other freebies was their brick badge and a pin for the event. So here's the pin. It says 10 years. It's got Clippy in the background of it. And then their 10-year anniversary brick badge. So Eclipse Graphics celebrating 10 years, which is amazing. And these can come apart, it does not hurt the um, printing. But you have to keep them together to make sure you read the badge correctly. I'm going to add that on. So two more awesome new brick badges. Uh, nice little uh, piece with clipping on it. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate that one on it. A lot of cool freebies. And there is one more special one. If you spent over 75 you got a Vic Fig, which is absolutely amazing. And it came in the nice little... Uh, plastic container or boxes. It's got 10 years on it. You can see Vic right there and it came with a special artwork. Uh, some people may not know because there's not a lot of posts of them so far, but there are different variants of the Vic Fig in hat, face, shirt, legs, or torso. So this one is the uh, red shirt, blue jeans, and his face is, I don't really know how to classify it. Uh, he does come with a black hat. There Again, there are different variants. Take the hat off. So here he is. Here's the Vic Fig. Again, if you check out yours, it could be a different face, torso, or leg color. But that looks exactly like Victor, which is awesome. So happy I got one finally. I love the red shirt design. It reminded me of Brickworld Chicago when I met him. Again, and took a picture, so I can recreate that as a Lego. Uh, got Clippy on the shirt, and then coming down further, he's got the jeans. See the belt design, belt buckle. It's got the uh, disc color on the knee area, pockets, and shoes. Dual printed, uh, not printed, but dual molded Lego arms, which is awesome. I believe they are. Hold on. Yep, these are dual molded, which again is awesome. Some stitching on the side of the body for the legs or the pants, and then the shoes. Same as this side. This arm's a little loose, but that's okay. Nothing in the back of the shirt, and then back of the pants are the belt and the shoes, which do print in the holes. But, so happy to have a Vic Fig. I was super stoked about it. It's the whole reason I made my order. <laughs> and then again, it comes with a 2x3 smooth tile of artwork that he's done. So this is the Mutant, and it's half uh, detail, half knot, which is really cool. Again, there are four different versions of this, I believe, as well. So you got to collect all the styles of Victor. Let's grab some bases really quick and show them off. And we'll get right into the awesome stuff as well. There we go. So there we go, my Vic Fig and a lot of awesome freebies. 
Next for the event was um, head crates, of course. Can't do an event without head crates. I got two of them. These are Brick Arms head crates. Get it out. Comes with four, randomly selected. I got both, I got two different colors, which is good. One is translucent blue, the other is a shiny uh, dark blue, I believe. So here's the first one. Uh, printing on them is the same, I believe, so it's celebrating 10 years. You got Clippy blowing the horn. Uh, you can see Clippy printed on the box. Nothing on the sides or the top or the bottom, but it is printed on both uh, long side faces. So I've not looked in these, so I don't even know which one heads I have. So we're going to check them out. I'm going to stack them like always. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, I got actually some. This is a good one. Oh, I got a Stan Lee face. So starting from top to bottom, this is one of their tactical female faces with goggles in a, uh, I believe this is light gray head. Coming down is uh, their tan ones, and this is one of the happy faces. Uh, this is dark gray. It's another tactical face. We got some cool goggles. I believe this might have been a new release. And then in tan, we got a Stan Lee face, which is actually really special. So that's awesome. I do have their Stan Lee tin. So a good head crate right there. At least they're all different. I'm happy about that. Face-wise, color-wise, doesn't really matter to me. Put these back in the crate, and then we're going to do the other one now. So that was the translucent blue one. Let's do this one now. You can see this one's got sparkles. Again, same printing. Look at that nice sparkle. I love the Brick Arms crates. Look at that. Nice little marbling right here. Awesome job with these ones. Open it up. You see, again, four different colors, which is nice. Oh, I got another Vic Fig head. That's awesome. Ooh, I got, this is a really good crate. So here's this one. We got a lime green tactical mask, which is actually really nice. I do like this one. We got a super tan Vic face, which I may put on the fig now. Uh, red Jason, or dark red Jason mask, which is cool. And then another one of those tactical goggles in brown. But I love the, the tan Vic. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so there are, there are a lot of different variants of colors. The mix prints. But um, the Vic Fig is the flesh tone. <laughs> Let's put those back in. There we go. So those are the head crates. Good thing about them as well is I believe the printing matches up for the clippies on both sides if, if you accidentally switch it. But those are my head crates. Uh, we'll do newer releases that came out. So these are all the same, just different colors, so I only have to show one. These are Halo armors that he released. He's done an official Master Chief in the green, but this one is, uh, there's red, dark red, blue, and gray. I'm gonna show the red. I do need armors for these. All you're getting is when you buy them is the uh, torso and legs. Uh, I do need to get the armors. But you can see you can make red versus blue if you'd like. Uh, the armor print is the same, I believe. So I have showed these off in green. I may have them right here next to me, possibly, maybe. No, I don't. Not next to me, not on hand. But this is the red variant of it. You can see the armor, nice, very tactical. Uh, it's got that mesh tone to it, which is really nice. Again, when you have the halo armor, it does cover the chest front and back, which is okay, because then the armor looks like the halo armor. But if you don't want to do um, the armor, you can just add a helmet. Uh, coming down to the legs, you can see it's got the black indents on the sides, red right here, a lot of detailing in there, and then coming down further to the legs, knee armor, the boots, upper thighs, down the groin, he's got the black there. Coming to the sides is the shoulder armor down to the wrist. It looks really nice. No printing on the side of the body. Oh, there is, actually, never mind, there is printing, sorry. It's that, um, it's that like meshing. You see it doesn't have that shiny tone of the red. It's the meshing, so it does go all the way around the body which is a nice detail. So then like if you have the arms on with the armor piece, it uh, shows the side, which is really nice. Uh, black gloves, printing on the waist is black, and then coming on further is the side of the leg armor, which is nice. And printing on this side is the same. Again, he's got that mesh on the side. Then coming to the back is the back armor. Down the spine, you can see shoulders, 
on the sides really nice detail again it has that mesh over it or under it same design on the waist and then coming down to the back of the legs you got the back of the knee joints where the armor is a little less back of the boots is nice and again these come in technically five different colors if you have the green one but they have four on their website so again you have red dark red gray and blue which I will show them all off now the red actually you can see the armor a little bit better so again red dark red which is actually very clean I like that one gray and then blue so you can have like I said red versus blue Lay these guys down. On to the new releases now. These are remakes of their old chemical agent. There are two variants. I got both of them right here. So this one is the one, the first variant. So you can see, comes with a minifig, nice background, says chemical agent. Nothing on the back of the card. I'm gonna open him up. So I'll show one, but I'll sh I will show the other. Just not in uh, great detail because it's the same, just a different color. Again, he comes with nice card he does come with a gas mask here's the full fig also comes with a flashbang and um, I forgot what she's going to it's like the bison I think comes with the bison it's the one with the magazine underneath this uh, cylindrical magazine And then he has that new goggles face, so that's where that one's from. And the official one has black for it. But again, if you get the, the head crates, you can put a bunch of different head colors. And then coming on to his chest and torso, you can see he has the orange jumpsuit on. Tactical vest, because he's the tactical agent. Or the um, chemical agent, sorry. Uh, pockets on the, um, on the outfit underneath, along with a zipper down the front put his gas mask back on. You can see how it fits perfectly. Like it looks like the goggles underneath um, they align really well with the gas mask. Then coming down further you can see printing on the waist is the jumpsuit, the zipper down the center. Some of the detail from the groin does come up there. He's got a strap on his upper right thigh, groin detail pockets and then some um, wrinkles in the bottom because they're going over the boots and then you have the front of the boots. I just dropped. Uh, coming to the side, you can see printing on the side of the arms. Got a pocket right here on the left shoulder. Does have printing on the side of the body, so that tactical vest comes along the uh, lower side of his body. And you can see the um, like pole in the outfit because it's tight on his body. See some of accessories right there. Printing down the side for the the seam pocket on his lower left leg and then you can see it does go over the boots coming to this side printing is different for the torso arm is the same you can see he's got kind of look like some vials right there and coming on further he does have a different leg printing it's got that strap right here that comes it looks like the flash bangs are on his leg pocket on the lower side and then over the boots Coming in the back is the back of the vest. You can see some moly straps on the top near the shoulders. Straps come down and then some pouches near the lower back. Big one, two small ones. Looks like a radio on this one. Coming in the back, you got printing on the waist. Coming down further, uh, that strap from the side and front comes to the back around the leg. Some, uh, you can see uh, like stretching in the lower section and then the back of the boots that come over. So an awesome new figure. These are new again. So if you want them, be sure to get them. They come in two different colors. I'm going to show the other one now. They come with accessories like a flashbang and the bison. Put them on a stand. Again, the, the mask is a little loose. It's not their fault. It's just how the masks are made. So this one is in gray, I believe. And it is the exact same minifig, just a different color, um, torso and legs. Again, he does come with a flashbang and a bison. But you can see same fig. 
Again, the face mask or the gas mask is loose. That's not Eclipse Graphics' fault, it's how the masks are made. So got both of those. Put them right there. And then there should be one more figure right here. Here is a new Apoc um, well, it's Apoc Drifter, Apocalypse Drifter. Uh, you can see it does include brick arms, uh, prototype nail bat, which is really awesome. The M9 pistol and a gas mask. This one is a different style. Uh, you can see I got 29 out of 100. Oh, are these labeled as well? No. So the the um, the chemical ones are not out of 100. These ones are. So if they're still up there, be sure to get them. And then on the back, you can see a Pac Drifter. If you want to read this right here, you can. Let's get him out. So again, he does come with some Brick Arms weapons along with the gas mask. I'm going to take off the gas mask to show his face. Oh, I do like this face design. Hair piece is being tricky, so I can't get it off. Here's this card. Oh, this is like not the paper ones. This is actually the nice card. Again, I got 29 out of 100. Comes with a crazy molded nail bat. And I have the official one, like a regular bat with silver or silver nails. So you can see these are rusty nails. Nice swirl bat. Really awesome. And then he comes with the gas mask. This is rubber. And then he comes with the um, Beretta M9. So I've showed this many times. Like I said, I'm leaving off his uh, gas mask to show him. So he's got long black hair. Then you can see his face. He's got a lot of beard stubble, scar along his eye. You can see some cheek details, chin details. It's kind of got a tired look on him. Let's see if I can get the hair off. I don't think I can. It's tricky. It comes off, but it's tricky. I'll just leave it for now. He's got a tired look. I mean, he's in the apocalypse, so living day by day. Coming out to his chest and torso, you can see he's very distressed. A tears in the shirt and fraying on the top, stains in it. He looks like he has a wound right here with bandages across. So he may be shot, stabbed, bitten, we don't know. Uh, patches in the jacket, you can see pockets stitching on it, it's really nice. Looks like it has a hood as well. Uh, coming down further to his belt, you can see he's got a silver belt buckle, black, and then the belt loops come over. Uh, there's even some dirt in the upper jacket. And then coming down further, you see pockets on the upper legs, stitching right here. He's got a strap over here, which looks like it goes to a pouch. Dirt on, and he's got a rusty knee pad on this side, and a lot of dirt on the boots. Coming to this side, you can see stitching in the uh, sh sleeve of his like jacket, and he's got a lot of dirt on it. Uh, printing on the side of the body does have stitching down the side or the seam, some patches, more dirt, and tears at the bottom. He does have Eclipse Graphics printed hands, which are um, like half gloves. So you see flesh tone and then brown for the gloves. Coming down further, you can see printing on the waist for the belt, and then he's got a pouch right here on the left thigh, and the knee pad strap comes to the side, and then the side of the boots, a lot of dirt on them. Nice little stains in them, in the pants. Coming to the other side, the arms are different. He's got a big patch on his right shoulder, a lot of dirt. Again, he's got the printed hands. Uh, side of the body is different as well. A lot of dirt, seam down it, looks like a little tear in it. Coming down, Waces has the belt, he's got that pouch on the side, and then coming down further, the boots, a lot of dirt on him as well. I really like this fig so far. Coming to the back, again, he does have a hood, like I said, it looked like a hood. He's got the hoodie, green tee shows on underneath, a lot of tears, patches, dirt, uh, distress marks. Even printing on the back of the arms, which I didn't see before, which is really nice. Coming down to the legs, he's got the waist printed. Nothing on the upper left side of his leg, but he has dirt and the strap from the knee pad. Strap from the pouch on this side, a lot more dirt. Back of the boots are printed, and a lot of dirt on them as well. Like I said, he's a very tired looking guy uh, in the apocalypse who is wounded, so he could be on borrowed time. I'm going to give him his gas mask so you can see what he looks like fully. 
So maybe the chemical agents were the ones who were healthy and these guys got screwed over. We'll give him his pistol. There we go. And his awesome, awesome baseball bat. So that is their uh, Apoc Drifter, Apocalypse Drifter. Love the nail bat, love the design in him. He looks amazing. Really happy with this. And it's a new release. So like I said, I got 20 out of 100, which I'm very happy about. I didn't know they were numbered. That was in interesting. Uh, now we'll get to the walls first, and then we'll get to all the workshop wonders. These are printed uh, graffiti walls by Eclipse Graphics. They are printed on the brick pieces. Um, I'm not, I will take them out, actually. I was like, maybe I won't, maybe I will. I'm going to... I got two different colors with two different designs. I didn't want to get the same ones in case I want to put them in my city or something like that. I want to get this out. There we go. So as you can see, this is light gray. And these are printed on there. You can take them apart. Don't want to break them all apart. There we go. See? So you can take them apart. It doesn't hurt the printing on the wall pieces. He did a great job with these. They're amazing. Um, so you can see a lot of cra crazy spray painting on the back. Some text that gets cut off. Looks like exceptions or expections. I don't know. EXPEC and then ONS. I assume IONS. Nice minifigure right here in a silhouette. Paint's dripping down. Nothing on the back because this would be more like a wood texture. So the inside of a wall, the outside of a wall, kind of comparable. Uh, he does have many different sizes of these. He has the two long, he has long ones, different designs, different colors, and then he also has smaller ones, which aren't as long but maybe taller. I don't remember. The design in the graffiti looks really well, or like it's really well done. It looks awesome. I mean, I wish Victor like put a little signature right here as he signed it to show like you know he did the artwork. It'd be really cool. But that is one of the walls. Then the next one right here. This one is in dark gray. Again, it's the same dimensions of the wall, but different design and different color. Get this out. There we go. Well, there you can see. It says Fig Life. Got a mini fig right here. Some other spray paint for graffiti on the walls. It says Emmett right there. And this one says Wild Style, I believe, right here. Oh, and Benny. Clippy. Unikitty. Who's this one? Something right here. I can't really read that one. Look at it more in depth. It says something. Something. Now I'm going to have to ask him. <laughs> but this is like the big blocky graffiti text. You see spray, uh, spray going off on some of it down on the bottom. Again, it is a different color, but same dimensions as the wall. So really cool. Again, you can intertwine these if you really want to, or like take out some pieces and you can make like a corner wall, or use the small ones, or add a piece in between. But uh, great job with these. I wanted to get them now because I was making a big order anyways. Again, the wall, uh, back is the wood style. So those are the walls. Now, the whole, some of you maybe have been waiting for are the awesome workshop wonders that came out. Uh, I'm just going to open them, show them off. So workshop wonders, these are all the same. The back is signed by Will. I've showed these before many a times. Here's the first gun. It's a Halo style one in black and red, which is really nice. Tried to get a lot of Halo guns. One of the rail ones, the rail guns. The uh, overmold is super nice that Brick Arms does. Really like them. So that's the rail gun. And the good thing about overmolds is the colors show up really well. Uh, Halo Sniper in yellow and black. And I don't actually, this is my first Halo Sniper in Brick Arms, which is crazy to think how many I have. Uh, comes with the uh, bipod right here. This one is in yellow and black, which is really nice. It's 
It's got the scope in black as well. Don't believe it comes off. It seems like it's molded on there pretty good. This is removable, I believe. Or not. Oh no, okay, the top is removable. I'm figuring out everything right now. So it is removable. Just gotta squeeze it off. But the Halo Sniper, I do have a, another version as well. Really nice though. Yeah, the yellow and black is like Clippy's colors, so happy to get these ones. Uh, here's the other one. This one is another style of Halo. Halo Sniper. This one is in uh, teal and green mix with black furniture or black sight and uh, tripod. Looks really nice. The colors are uh, blended really well. So really cool. Next one right here is the Spartan Laser in that same kind of teal with green and uh, a little bit of purple mixed in there. And actually this is my first Spartan Laser too. I don't have any of these. So you see black, silver, and then the over mold on it is the uh, blue, purple, and uh, green. On this side you can see a lot more purple and green in it. The other side is more blue, so he must have been switching colors. Cool thing as well is you can stick a lightsaber piece in there or any kind of color, make it look like it's shooting the laser out. But this is awesome. These I've never seen in person. Never had one. See the trigger where it holds? You can hold it from both points as well. Sits on the minifig shoulder right here. But really cool. I got uh, one of the Lancers, which I don't have as well, in black and yellow for clippy colors. Uh, it reminds me of like the Gears of War Lancer. It's got the blade, at least the blade one, not the chainsaw. So in yellow, a lot of black in there as well. I like the blade. Looks really nice. I, like I said, I've never had one of these as well. So really cool. Next one is a yellow and black uh, railgun from Halo. It's, uh, different. So this one has black base, yellow overmold. The other one was red base, black overmold. So really nice. I wonder if it's it's a little bendy. Might be just from the mold. Oh, this might be coming off as a piece. Sorry, that's just me. I'm looking at it like the yellow might pop off. But really cool. Like I like like I said, I'm I like the yellow and black. Here is the black version of the Halo Sniper. This is just all black. Very simple. I believe this one's yeah, all black, no mix. So you can see the detailing in there a little more. Again, it has the tripod. Sights are removable. Really nice. Put it in line. Next one is a black and white Lancer. This reminds me of like the, it's the Gears of War guns. So it reminds me of. So uh, black base, white extra, so barrel, blade, magazine, trigger guard. Extra details looks really nice. I like the yellow, I like the um, like the gun being more yellow. Like the switching the colors. If it was white with black, it would be really nice. That one in line. Next one, gold AK. Surprisingly, I don't have one of these, so I just wanted to get a gold AK. So AK-47, brown furniture, gold body magazine and barrel like I said don't have one wanted to get one saw it and I was like yep I'm getting this one so really cool I actually really like this color the pearl gold is really nice now Vic I can make the Vic fig look like a gangster <laughs> next one another Spartan laser this one is uh, base purple so you can see right here so black, silver, and then majority purple with a little bit of mix in there. You can see right here on the top. But again, second Spartan laser now. Really nice. Love these. They are amazing. 
Two more. Another Spartan laser. This one is a mix of green and uh, pinkish purple, like this the swirl in it. And you can see right there. So green and that pink purple mixing in is different on both sides due to the swirling. So this side has a little more heavier than this side. But overall really nice. And the last one, which is a uh, pulse rifle from the movie Aliens. And this one is uh, over molded with rust and uh, it looks like gunmetal. It's a little dark, so uh, rust style base with uh, gunmetal over. It looks like gunmetal. It may be green to me. I'm thinking, I don't know, it's grayish green. But. The rust color is really nice. I know rust guns are really popular. So, I really like this one. And the Halo, or the um, Aliens movies, uh, the guns are really nice. So I have a few of these now. But I think that is everything I got from the event. Um, like I said, got to see Victor at Brick World this past weekend. Love seeing him. Love you. You're awesome. Uh, love the workshop wonders. Can't wait to get more. If you didn't already look on his Instagram, he got more. To, he's getting more tomorrow. Graffiti walls are a must. Chemical troopers are awesome. Epox fig, one of my favorite releases now. Halo armors need to get the armor form. Head crates are always nice. Brick badges are great. I love the clippy uh, engraved brick pins, stickers. Gotta have them. Uh, links will be up on for what I can find. I know the armors are still up there. Uh, head crates should be. Walls are up there for sure. Those are regular releases. Chemical agents maybe. I'll check. But links will be down below for all of those. Be sure to check out my other Eclipse graphic videos right up here. And links will be down below for as well. Be sure to leave a like if you ever liked the video. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.